Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. I just woke up so I'm not wearing any makeup and my hair is major bedhead. But ignoring that, I'm just making this video really quickly because I want to do this before I actually take my shower. Um, it's just easier that way so I can wash everything out while I'm in the shower. It's just really convenient doing that. Um, I want to show you guys how I wash out my hair extensions. And not just wash them out because anyone can just shampoo hair extensions. Like, I mean, if you don't know how to do that, just look it up. Pretty much everyone has, like, everyone that has hair extensions and um, talks about it online, like, probably has a video or a demonstration of how they do it. But this is how I try to remove the color. This is my first step. I have, I dyed these, um, like, maybe three weeks ago. I've had this hair that whole time. Um, I can even show you some clips right here of what it looked like when I was um, just wearing the hair extensions like this. Um, now it's going into the stage where I've had these hair extensions for a while. Um, I've taken a lot of video footage and a lot of pictures with my hair like this, so I feel like at this point um, it's time for me to move it into the next stage, which is the fade stage of hair. So these hair extensions are VP Fashion hair extensions, I forgot to mention that. VP Fashion um, human hair extensions, they're 22 inches, but I did texturize them and take off just like maybe half an inch of length. Dyeing these this very first color that I've done, you can uh, click this up here to view that video. If you guys want to purchase anything from uh, VP Fashion, I really do, do love their extensions. Um, you can click on the link below uh, for v VP Fashion, um, their website, and use my discount code JELLYFISH for $10 off on anything you order. Um, but okay, getting into the video, I've never even washed these hair extensions after I dyed them, so they are at their most vibrant they've ever been. So I want to show you guys like a pre-shot of just what it looks like before I do anything to them. This they, they are brand new, this is the first dye I've ever done. I'm going to try to dye these three to four more time, times before I get new hair extensions. So these ones are this color now. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to remove it. First thing we have to do is we have to take them out and section them into parts. So I have a three clip weft right here and a four clip weft. Now I have another four clip weft and a three clip weft. I am putting those together. Now I have three um, one clip wefts. VP Fashion actually comes with four wefts that are just one clip, but I keep one as um, I keep one as a control so that if I damage them, I have um, the original state, the original length, the original texture, um, just to like go off of like how different they are after however many bleaches or dyes or you know stylings that I've done that might ruin them. Um, I can go back to see what it looked like when I first got it. It's easier to like clip them together like that to work on less hair at a time, so you get more action on each strand I guess. First step I have to do in stripping the color slash washing the hair extensions. Honestly like a lot of people shampoo their hair extensions often. I've never really worn these on a day that I sweated or like nowhere that really made them dirty so I never had to wash them yet. Um, they still feel pretty clean. I'm gonna be shampooing them with a clarifying shampoo that has sulfates in it therefore that means it's going to strip the color out. A lot of shampoos nowadays are color safe because a lot of people do have color processed hair. You want to get a shampoo that you know, you know will strip the color out if that's your purpose. If you're trying to get the color out, you're going to want either head and shoulders or uh, some kind of special shampoo. I have two with me. This is Tea Tree Special Shampoo um, by Paul Mitchell. And if you look at the ingredients, it has sulfate. Same as this one, this is a scalp relief dandruff control. Anything dandruff control really removes all of the gunk in your hair, really gets into the hair and pulls all of the pigment out quicker. This method is much more gentle than bleaching hair, which you shouldn't do to hair extensions anyways. You should just not bleach hair extensions if you're gonna put any kind of bleach on hair. Make sure it's a bleach bath where it's like mostly like at least 50% uh, shampoo anyways and then just like add in a little bit of bleach so it's like a really diluted version of bleach. Um, it's much more gentle on hair that's no longer nourished from the scalp and nutrients and proteins. One thing I forgot to mention is that you should be using 
hot water as much as you can because hot water opens up the cuticles in the hair and flushes out everything much quicker than using cold water. Like if you want to seal color, like if you're trying to keep the color in your hair because it's a new color and you don't want it to fade too quickly, always wash your hair under cold water because that will seal your hair. But if you're trying to strip color, of course, do the opposite, uh, apply heat. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get all of the excess dye off the surface of the hair because like there's a lot of excess dye when you never wash out hair extensions. Okay, so you know how when you dye your hair first, um, it'll be that color and then the first time you take a shower or shampoo your hair right after you get your hair dyed, um, the color washes out a lot. That's because there's a lot of excess pigment just coating the hair. Um, so we want to remove as much of that as we can by using any kind of clarifying shampoo. Okay, so now that I have that all currently happening, I have them uh, processing with the shampoo still in the hair. I washed them out twice, scrubbing them, and then um, the third time having the shampoo in, I'm just leaving it in for a while, while I go do the next step, which will be um, getting a pot and uh, boiling water. Also, so by the way, a lot of people do the boiling method where they uh, drop the extensions in the pot of water, but I find that really fries the hair. I mean, imagine doing that to your very own hair. It's really not good for it, so um, I'm going to boil water separately, and then after it actually boils, it'll just be hot enough to open the cuticles, and I can shampoo it, them in there and kind of just drain out the color like that. Okay, since this water is really hot and I'm actually scared about hurting my brand new hair extensions, I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit. It's still kind of like, I mean, it's really hot. This is uh, what I use to make tea. So it kind of boils the water, but then keeps it at a pretty low temperature that in a few minutes it's safe enough to drink. But I, I don't want it to get to that point. I still want it to be hotter than drinkable, but... Um, it's like steaming and it's kind of freaking me out because I don't want to put my hair extensions in steaming water. I know that's going to happen, but like this air is actually really hot as it is. So I know this is really hot if it's steaming in already hot air. As you can see, this water is pure black. So <laughs> these hair extensions are obviously getting stripped if it looks like this. That's how you really know how you really know that these hair extensions are getting stripped because the water is black which means a lot of the colors coming up and you can see the hair extensions are actually steaming up I don't think the camera can pick it up Whoa. now that is so pretty it looks like grape soda or something Okay, so as you can see, I feel like this pair of hair extensions, like th this one didn't lift as much as these two did. Um, I think this one lifted the most. This is the middle section, this is the bottom section, and this is the top section. So this one is still pretty bright. This one is just dark, and then this one is pale. So I don't know why they all lifted differently. Maybe because I, I let them sit in the water at different times by accident. I don't know, but I'm going to um, do it again. I'm still trying to do this while the um, the bowl, the the pan is still hot because hopefully that'll keep the water warmer. I'm kind of scared. I'm really scared about my hair extensions because these are brand new. They're all human hair, super expensive, and I'm just freaking out about this. This is all honestly so that you guys don't mess up and do something wrong if I do it wrong so you know what not to do. Everyone's hair extensions, I don't know why, like, sometimes some people, like, wash it once and then their extensions look so ratty. I think it's because they don't take care of them. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do deep conditioning treatments after this because the hair is still hair. It's human hair. And um, I'm going to put a lot of like really nice products on them to make sure like it seals the cuticles up and makes them look shiny again. Um, because after doing this, this is wrecking the hair pretty much. Um, we kind of got to like help it revive itself. Yo, I feel like I'm playing with squids. Like, when I tossed this in there, I was like, yo, have you ever seen those cooking videos where they have squids? Like, I feel like somehow I'm, like, washing the ink off of them or something weird like that. It's, like, such a random thought. But, seriously, that's what this reminds me of. Like, I feel like these are squids. 
Okay, so for this very last part, um, I've, I've already towel dried the hair extensions just a little bit, so they're still damp, but this is kind of what you want your hair to look like when you um, deep condition it anyways. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three different types of conditioners on each one um, equally. So, um, so I have one deep conditioning treatment. This is called All Soft Mega Mask by Redken. Um, this treatment, uh, care extender for dry, brittle hair. Um, this... So like uh, the cool thing is it has two sections. If you can see this part up here, this is a whole another tube within this tube. One of these um, seals it, the other one repairs it, I guess. Um, so I'm going to be using some of this, but since I'm almost out, I'm also going to be putting a ton of one of my favorite, all-time forever favorite um, <sighs> conditioners that has always been my lifesaver. This is the Matrix Biolage um, Raw, real authentic wholesome raw um, conditioner for uh, recover conditioner this is for stressed sensitized um, hair and then um, one that's super popular in the salon that I work at um, is Cebu I actually really like Cebu Cebu is nice um, the repair conditioner and I actually just bought this so um, this is kind of new to me I haven't I've used it once and so far it really made my hair feel nice but um, I'll be using this as well because it's repair and we do need to repair these extensions we just boiled <laughs> pretty much. Okay, so I just put all of the conditioners in this. Now I'm going to be leaving this in the pot and um, no nothing is in the pot, just like air. Um, and I'm just going to be leaving them in there so that like they kind of sit somewhere and it doesn't run off in the shower. I'm going to be leaving this in for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to rinse it out with cold water and I'll dry them and show you guys what they look like after that. 